Now I'm going to explain to you the origin of the Gregorian calendar and what the idea behind it and where it comes from. So we just saw in the previous video that the tropical year uh, occurs every 365.24 days. Okay, so where does the Gregorian calendar concept come from? Well, the Gregorian calendar is based um, on a, a year consisting of 365 and a quarter uh, days, just like the Julian calendar, right? So in order to be convenient, what we've done is we've assumed, we've rounded this up, and we assume that a year has 365 and a quarter days. So what we do is we allot a year with 365 days, 365, and then next year 365, the next year 365, and then in the meantime, we're ignoring the quarter days, right? Quarter, quarter, quarter. So we basically have uh, three quarters built up that we haven't accounted for. The fourth year, we add that three quarters to 365 and a quarter, we get 366. So the Julian calendar was based on this system, and then the Gregorian calendar came and corrected this, and I'll explain where the correction comes from. So 365, 365, 365, 366. But notice the tropical year is actually is a little bit shorter um, than the 365 and a quarter. So if we keep doing this, 365, 365, 365, 366, Eventually, we're going to have too many number of days in a year, and we're eventually going to fall uh, too large from the tropical year, right? So here's the idea. Let's do this. Let's take 365 and a quarter and subtract the tropical year from that. So T tropical, that's going to be 0 0.0078. 0905059. Well, I'm taking the absolute value of the difference. This is a smaller number than this, but I'm just taking the difference of that. And so I'm saying the tropical year is shorter from the 365 and a quarter days by that amount. Okay? Now let's multiply this by four years. In four years, the tropical year will be shorter than the 365 and a quarter days by how much? It's shorter by four times this, right? So you take four times that number and you're gonna get 0.03, one, two, three, six, two, zero, two, three, six days. Okay, so far it's not a big deal. So every four years, the tropical year is falling behind our calendar years that we have devised, right? But after a century, what will happen? After a century, well, every four years, you're, it's shorter by that much. How many four-year intervals are there in a century? 25 four-year intervals, right? So after a century, It's uh, shorter by 25 times this number. And now it starts adding up. You get 0.78090505.9. Okay? That means you've over added, every 100 years, you've over added 0.78 days to the calendar. If you just go purely by the 365 and a quarter days, which was the Julian calendar. The Julian calendar relied just by doing this and it didn't worry about any corrections. So this is Julian. Okay? Now what's going to happen? If you multiply this by uh, another four, that means four centuries, after four centuries, The tropical year is shorter by what? Four times this number, and you get 3.1236202236. Okay? So after four centuries, you have over added three days and a little bit more. So here's what the Gregorian calendar concept comes from. Since every four centuries, 
We have over added by three days, a little over three days. Here's what the Gregorian correction says. Skip a leap year every hundred years. Skip a leap year every hundred years. So hundred years, you skip one leap year, that's minus one day. The next hundred years, skip another leap year, that's minus two. The third hundred year, you skip a leap year, that's minus three. The fourth leap year, you don't skip the leap year, right? So basically you subtract three from this. So every 400 years, you skip three leap years, but the 400th year, you do add the leap year. So that means it kind of corrects for this problem, right? So now you have 0 0.123620236 days. If you do that Gregorian correction, every 400 years, you'll only be 0 0.123620236 days off, okay? Now, if you don't do that correction, if you don't do the Gregorian correction, what happens? Big problems happen, okay? Uh, the Julian calendar was uh, accepted 325 AD at the Council of Nicaea. 325 AD, okay? All the way to 1582 AD, that's where they made the uh, Gregorian correction. How many years had passed? So if you subtract them, that's 1257, 1,257 years, okay? That, uh, they had been utilizing the Julian calendar without the Gregorian correction for that many years. How many days had they overcounted, okay? So 1257 years. So what we can do is we can say every year the tropical calendar is shorter by this much, right? So we can just multiply this. We can say one year, you have over added these many days. So 0 0.0078090505059. Then if you multiply that, you're gonna get 9.8159765 days. So from the year 325 to 1582, the tropical year and our calendar year, there was a difference of 10, roughly 10 days, right? And it became noticeable. What started happening was uh, spring, instead of beginning March 21, as it should have, constantly it should always be starting around March 21, right? By, the, by that time, 1500s, it was beginning March 11th or March 10th. Right? So there was a difference of about 10 days. And so they noticed, wait a minute, spring is beginning March 11th. Summer is beginning June 11th. Winter is beginning December 11th. If this keeps going on another thousand years, everything will be shifted back another 10 days. Another thousand every 10 days and 10 days. Oh, we got to make a correction. So what happened was Pope Gregory uh, convened the council and what they did is decide to skip 10 days in the calendar. Okay, this, so this was uh, Thursday. Thursday, October 4th, 1582. Okay, the next day was supposed to be what? Friday, October 5th, right? They said no. Everybody in the world on the Gregorian calendar, the next day is going to be Friday, October uh, 15th, 1582. So basically they went from Thursday to Friday, but the Thursday was October 4th, the Friday was October 15th. Okay, that's about 10 days, 11 days, right? So they skipped that many days in order for the, uh, the 10 extra days that have been counted to come back and for um, spring to occur March 21 again, right? So they wanted to discount that. So right. then after that, they decided to enact this rule, right, that I mentioned. So they said, every 400 years, you have to skip three leap years. So let's do it this way, they said. 1600 was the next centennial year, right? And then after that was 1700, 1800, 1900, 
2,000, 2,100, 2,200, right? So after 1582, the next whole number year was the 1,600. So they said 1,600 is divisible by 400. So let's do it this way. The, that year, add a leap year. Add leap year. In other words, add the one extra day and call that a year that has 366 days. Then four years after that, 1604, add another extra day. 1608, add another extra day. Then by the time you get to 1700, you would have normally added an extra day, but you have to skip it. So skip leap year. 1800, skip. 1900, skip. You see, by the time you get to 2000, that's 400 years, right? From here to here, that's 400 years. So you have skipped three of them, but not skipped the other. Then comes the next 400 years. Add day, add one day, skip it, skip it, okay? So during our lifetime, since we live around 2000, we're not gonna experience one of these years that you're supposed to add a, a, a day, but you're not going to add because of the Gregorian correction. We're not gonna experience that. Next time that they'll experience it is 2100. You're supposed to add a day, but you're not gonna add it because of the Gregorian correction. Now, the correction is not perfect because after uh, 400 years, you still have overcounted 0 0.12, 36, 236 days. Okay, so what are you gonna have to do? After about eight of these 400 cycles, eight times 400 year cycles, how many days would you have overcounted? Then eight times these many, right? When I multiply that, I get uh, 0.9889618888 days. So eight 400 year cycles is what? Eight times 400, 3200, uh, right? So that takes us quite a while, so we're safe. After 3,200 years, what they will have to do is skip one more day, okay? So where they're, they're doing add a leap year, skip, 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 add. What they're gonna have to do is do add, skip, 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 and then skip, 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 then add, add, you see? So one of these that they're adding, they're, they have to skip it. So they'll be like, Add, skip, 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 add, skip, 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 add. So one of these will be skip, okay? When will that be? After 3,200 years from when they first started doing this correction. So after 1600 uh, AD. So 3,200 plus 1,600, roughly about the year 4,800 or 5,000. So we don't really have to worry about that now. It's way, way into the future. So the Gregorian calendar correction does a pretty good job of correcting for the difference between the tropical year and our calendar year, which is based on the 365 and a quarter days of the year, okay? Hopefully, this will give you a little bit of an understanding on this and you can do further research into this. Thank you.